Welcome to Read Cure Channel, the English Reading Rescuers Avenue of SDO Urdaneta City. Hello, dear learners. I am Teacher Tina, and welcome to another episode of the Read Cures Channel. Today, we are going to learn about sequencing of events when we are reading a story. Sequencing of events refers to identification of the components of a story, as things and events happen in order. That is, the beginning, middle, and end. To put it simply, when things or events happen in an order, they form a sequence. For this another exciting episode, we are going to read a story. But before we go straight to the story, I am going to show you how sequencing of events happen. We are going to answer the question, how can we spot proper sequencing of events? Take a closer look at these pictures. What do you notice? Precisely, the growth of a seed happens in order. Initially, planting is done. Then, budding of a seed takes place, and finally, into a full-grown plant. Hmm, I guess the question was easily answered through the aid of pictures. But what if? Sequencing of events are being told or read in a story. How can we find out which event happens first and how do we determine the turning points or identify the story's ending? Do you remember reading a fairy tale? And how you would feel the magic when you start the story by reading the famous opening line of Once Upon a Time? And the anticipated ending of And, and They Lived Happily Ever After. These are clues to begin and end the story. But remember, there are words that are being used to be able to effectively identify sequence of events, order of a story, and also to effectively organize procedures, directions, and instructions. And this is through the use of sequence adverbs. We use adverbs of sequence or sequence words to help us identify order of the events that are happening in a story. They tell us things like what happened first, what happened next, and what happened that was unexpected. Think of them as signal words that help us identify the next event in a story. Without these words, the flow of a story can really be confusing. The sequence adverbs in aid of the right order of events of a story are as follows. First, next, then, after that, and finally. We use the sequence word first for an action that happened before any others. Then, next, and after that can be used for an action that happened after another action. These three sequencers can be used interchangeably. The sequence word finally is used for the action that happened at the end after any others or after a long time. Again, the sequence adverbs for the order of a story or events are the following. First, next, then, after that, 
And finally, so the next time you read or write a story, you won't have any problem when it comes to sequencing. I hope you had fun today as much as I am with you, dear learners. Thank you for staying with me. This is Teacher Tina, and please stay tuned for Teacher LV's story. Until next time!